Hello, this is Renee, and Tom and I are on the Ultimate World Cruise, and we just docked in Koper, Slovenia. Join us as Tom and I take a walking tour through its historic old town. Koper's old town is a treasure trove of history with medieval architecture, narrow streets, and the beautiful Praetorian Palace. This building was used as a salt warehouse in the 17th century. Once we exit the ship, we have to walk up a lot of steps. We could have taken the elevator, but we opted to get our steps in and ended up walking eight miles today. Once we got to the top, we had a beautiful view of the harbor and the ship. From here, we started walking into Old Town. The palace is located on the southern side of the city's central Tito Square. This palace dated back to the 15th century and once was the seat of the city rulers. The original municipality was destroyed during a major revolt in 1348, but the current structure started in the mid-15th century still stands strong. The fall of the Venetian Republic in 1797 reduced the palace's importance and in the 19th century the mayor's office moved to another palace. After years of decay, a restaurant opened up in the palace in 1968 and a major renovation from 1991 to 2001 restored it and it became a city hall again. The restoration cost was 3.34 million euros. Little did we know if we walked straight out of this archway, we could have gotten straight almost to McDonald's. Well, not quite almost, it was about a half mile away. We wandered through many of the narrow streets and then came back to the Cathedral of the Assumption, boasting a stunning bell tower. Be prepared to get dizzy. This thing just kept going up and up and up. The construction of the bell tower is believed to have been built in the 12th century. This places its origin in the medieval period. Standing at approximately 54 meters or 177 feet, it is one of the tallest structures in Koper. During the 15th century, a clock was added to the tower. From its medieval origins through various periods of architectural and political change, it stands as a testament to Koper's enduring heritage and cultural significance. This ceiling was way short. We think we're at the top, but this is just where the bells are located. Next up, more stairs, except these are spiral stairs. We finally made it to the top. And what a view. We were able to walk all the way around the bell tower. This is the view looking down into Tito's Square. And now, Time to go back down. It was a little bit intimidating. Finally, some real stairs. From the bell tower, we walked up even more stairs and toured more of the town. From a distance, the bell tower looks majestic, especially after walking all the way up. Some back scene production shots. Next stop, the Cathedral of the Assumption. This cathedral has been a place of Christian worship since at least the 6th century. This present structure was built in the 12th century. And then in the 14th century, it underwent major reconstruction reflecting the Romanesque style. 
The current organ was installed in the 18th century. After visiting Old Town, we strolled along the boardwalk and we saw the actual building. From there, we found our way to the local McDonald's. This McDonald's is the only McDonald's that serves you by a robot. They also serve shrimp and cheesy spinach snacks, which we did not buy. So after walking eight miles, we made our way back to the ship. Copra, with its blend of history, coastal beauty, and warm hospitality, is a town that will leave a lasting impression. Per your request, here is our itinerary for the next seven ports. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more adventures from every corner of the globe. See you at the next port!